What's up YouTube? Procreate Dreams comes out in just two days at the time of this recording. So today we're going to talk about what we know about it ahead of its launch. Welcome back. My name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator and today we are talking about Procreate Dreams and what we know about it ahead of its launch date, which is November 22nd, 2023, which is just two days away at the time of this recording. So I am very, very excited for this app. I did a video right when they did the announcement to talk about kind of what I thought about what they had announced, but let's kind of recap right now what we know about it right ahead of launch. So I've broken this video up into six P's because Procreate starts with P. So these are the six P's that we need to know going into the launch of Procreate Dreams. They are purpose, platform, price, power, performing, and privacy. So let's go ahead and hit on each of these. The first one is purpose. What is the purpose of Procreate Dreams? Well, Procreate Dreams is an animation app. It is, of course, based on the Procreate engine, which the app Procreate had some animation features in it, but this is actually a full-fledged animation app. What's its purpose? Its purpose is to do 2D animation and to do motion graphics over the top of other films. So basically it's going to combine the really powerful brushes of Procreate with a timeline video editor, put those together to create the best animation app we've ever seen, I'm guessing. So a couple of things to know about its purpose. It's meant to be very approachable. So it's meant to do what Procreate did for the drawing world, which is bring it down to a space where anybody could do it, but keep enough overhead there that it can be used professionally. So that's really what Procreate Dreams is going to do. Do. It's going to make animation very approachable for those of you who've never done it before, but it's also going to have plenty of features that a professional can do to really do whatever they want. It's totally capable, from what they've said, of producing an entire full-length feature film that's animated. So it should be able to do just about anything that you want. It can also do motion graphics, which means you can bring videos in and then you can animate over the top of them, which is going to be awesome for a lot of people. Now you do need to understand that this is a 2D animation app. You're not going to be producing the next Toy Story on this or something like that. It's a 2D animation app, so it's going to look much more like traditional animation. It can also do at least some basic effects. I'm not sure exactly how fully featured those effects are going to be yet, but it can definitely do things like use blend modes, change opacity, and that kind of thing. So there's going to be some effect work that you can do here as well, which is really great because we've never had a good effects app on the iPad up until now. Okay, so that is the purpose of this app. Next, let's talk about the platform. The platform is the iPad. The iPad is the only platform that Procreate has ever been on, and it's the only I platform I ever expect Procreate Dreams to be on either. There are things that they wanna do here that are only possible on the iPad. So you need to have an iPad, and that iPad needs to run iOS 16 or higher in order for it to run Procreate Dreams. So any iPad that can run iOS 16 can run Procreate Dreams, but there will be limitations based on the chip your iPad has on how large of documents and how many tracks it can work with. So that's pretty normal. In order to keep it running smoothly, they will limit the amount of information that you can put into it. So of course, the newer your iPad is and the faster chip it has, the better it's going to work there. Now also, it is meant to work with an Apple Pencil. So if you don't have an Apple Pencil, I would suggest getting one if you're planning on working with Procreate Dreams because that's really the intention is that it will work with an Apple Pencil. Do not expect Procreate Dreams to come to Mac or Windows or Linux or Android. Those are just not really something that they've expressed any interest in previously. And so I don't expect this app to come to those platforms either. I know that might make some of you upset, but really, the iPad has some unique capabilities that no other platform does, and that's what they're trying to take advantage of here. So if you want to be able to use Procreate Dreams, you're just going to have to go ahead and get an iPad, which I know can be expensive, but it's totally worth it. Speaking of expensive, let's talk about the price because this app is not expensive. This app costs $19.99 USD. You can pre-order it right now so that it will download onto your iPad immediately upon release. $19.99 for a fully fledged animation app is crazy, crazy cheap. I just can't believe how they can keep the cost so low. It's really important to understand that this is not ad supported and it's not subscription based. So none of that junk from other apps is going to be here. It's just you pay one time and then you use the app for as long as you want to. Next up is power. Now, of course, I have not used Procreate Dreams yet, so I can't tell you really how powerful it is yet, but it is said to be incredibly powerful. It's said that it doesn't have any rendering times at all, which is just unheard of in the world of animation and motion graphics. So not to have to have any rendering times, that really shows the way it's harnessing the power of the iPad here to just make things amazing. It is said that it can do a 1 million by 1 million pixel document, which is ludicrously huge and something you would probably never need to do, but that's just a good example of the amount of power that it can harness. Now I'm assuming that that is on the newest iPad Pros, that it can do something that large 
and with the most tracks. And it will probably scale down from there depending on your iPad. But regardless, it is a really powerful application. Next, let's talk about performing. Now I used the word power last time instead of performance because performing is actually a feature inside of Procreate Dreams and it allows you to animate in real time. So as you animate, your footage rolls and it will set keyframes for you based on what you do. This is kind of a new idea in animation and it's one of the big things that Procreate Dreams is bringing to make it more accessible to start with animation. And so performing is going to be a major, major new feature that I don't think we fully realized what the implications of it are going to be yet. So that's something to really look forward to as we head into Procreate Dreams in just a couple days. Performing will allow you to just take whatever you're working on, start a recording, and as your footage rolls, you can adjust it and make it do whatever animation you want without worrying about setting the parameters and keyframes individually. All right, the last P is for privacy. Privacy has been a big deal recently, particularly with AI harvesting lots and lots of people's work. And the people behind Procreate have said they are very committed to privacy. There is no data harvesting that happens in this app. None of your work is sent back to their cloud or anything like that. If you're saving to the cloud, it's because you're using your own cloud storage like iCloud or something like that. So none of your data will be harvested through Procreate Dreams, which is really good to know and to have that assurance because we aren't getting that from a lot of other companies these days. Okay, so those are the six Ps that I think are really important to know heading into Procreate Dreams. Lastly, I wanna say if you are an illustrator or an artist that's coming to animation for the first time because you're excited about Procreate Dreams, the most important thing that you need to understand is keyframes. Keyframes are the thing that you must know in order to understand animation. So I created a video a couple years ago to introduce keyframes in the simplest way possible and you can find that right here. Go ahead and check that out if you want to be more ready for when Procreate Dreams comes out. Okay, and that is your rundown for Procreate Dreams ahead of its launch. Now, of course, I will do a reaction video as soon as I'm able to once the app comes out and I have some time to play with it. I'll do a reaction to the actual app itself and I will work on making an intro course for you just as soon as possible. I do have a new course coming out in just the next couple of weeks, which will be an introduction to creating Procreate brushes. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for that as well. Okay, now I wanna hear from you. What are you excited about with Procreate Dreams? We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.